and it was what one. With three kills. Though. Like, to be fair. Is that in, my fault? In that Dino's defense, in Dino's defense, it could have been countered so easily. Yeah. Like, say, the Milo and Tick having than, Flame Orb. And it's not something he can bring every week and win with it. Like, Daunt is just gonna destroy it. But like Mega Gyarados. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the week one recap of the HDL. No. We, uh... We've got our matches concluded with. <laughs> we've got... Why is this so loud? I was about to say, what do we have? We can just stop talking. Hey, Lion Boy, thank you for the reset. Four months in a row. Thank you for the money. That That is just some commitment right there. And I am so sorry that you are committed to me of all people. Hylian, <laughs> what... What is the video on your Twitch thing for your ping? The... Uh, what do you mean? I see a dude laying on the ground and then people in the casino. Sounds like an average day at work for me. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? Hold on, I'll DM, I'll DM it to you real quick. Dude lying on the ground at a casino? What the hell are you on about? This is what I see in the ping on the announcements channel. <laughs> um, what? I don't know. I'm so confused. I think your Discord glitched because that's the thumbnail for Lion Boy's video. He put in gifts me his images on the pub roll. Yeah. <laughs> it's showing a different one. I think your Discord glitched. <laughs> I'm gonna close this for real quick. I mean, it, I mean, it can always be worse. So I can't even open links. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got our matches done. I'm going to be starting these with uh, in order of uh, least favorite to most favorite, because I feel as though that is uh, that is just fair. Um, which of course means I'm going to start this with. The dawn of scum. You're so mean to my cow. Don't even. No. So. I was bullied. This was, uh, this was the fight between Lion Boy and, uh, Tyler. Disclaimer. This fight ended with a D with a 6-0. Secondary disclaimer. This was a blunt mons for all. <laughs> but as a 6v6 singles. Also, Tyler brought Toxic Stall Mill Tank to a Blunt Mons. Toxic Stall Whirlpool Mill Tank? Yeah, no yeah. milk no milk drink. So I'm sorry, you you're not Mimi, you're scum. And you couldn't have milk drink, it was you couldn't have milk drink, it was blunt mons. That's so, exactly my point. We're starting with uh with pork versus stando T pose. Stando T pose obviously just proceeds to go for a pivot into the scum of the hour. As you see, they missed the first whirlpool. This is the universe trying to plead with scum, but it's too late. Both sides are toxic. Pile of Swine's going to have to war out. Uh, you know, Ibombe comes back in, but then of course Tyler decides, no, I want to switch back into scum. It's gonna take take the top rock to him. Minus speed drop, but you think scum cares about that? Scum doesn't care. He's too scum to care about that. This is why he's gonna go for seismic toss. Then gets warred out again. Standard T-Post comes in, gets intimidated. You turn out drink? back into Scum. As you can see, we are very much relying on the Scum. Scum takes 11% for the Rock Tomb. Another speed drop. Again, you think Scum cares? Scum doesn't care. Scum exists solely to be Scum. Now, Lion Boy's going to attempt to go for a power up punch here. Gets toxic again. Mill Tank gets hurt by Poison. Switches back to State of Tipos. Gets intimidated, but that doesn't affect because of Scrappy. Ryan then proceeds to Mega Evolve, gets plus two because of the Power Rental Bond with Power a Punch. So we are now at plus three attack, but then dies to a single super power from this Landorus. This neck comes in, we get 
snum, bat, snum, scum, whatever. Ba <laughs> just back on the battlefield. Barely alive, and then he reveals the scum move of rest. As you can see, Ryan is just constantly hammering. Up. Like, he's, he's trying everything. He's switching into Nine Tails. He's trying Ice Beams. Just something. Get this scum off the battlefield. But then, the knights who say knee enter. Uh... The, the baby fetus comes in to take some take some damage from the drill run. Uh, a name I'm not allowed to say on air enters the battlefield. Then Meg evolves, takes some serious damage from Giga Drain. Barely alive after the Dark Pulse. Rabombi comes back in, takes a little bit of damage from that Giga Drain. It's not going to be enough. The baby fetus dies from an energy ball. Then everybody's favorite nine tailed weep fox enters the battlefield. Uh, Knights of Saint Knee come back in. Uh, Lion Boy attempts to hex for some reason, even though the Scavalier has no status. Not sure what the play was there. That was its only attacking move. And I had Toxic as my other thing. I, what was I gonna do to it? Yeah, you get mad at B. He had Toxic on three of his mons. Yes. Yeah, but, but my mons did... weren't fat. Milo Tick would beg to differ. I'm sorry, did I he did... have Toxic Whirlpool on anything? Did he I have mean, Toxic Whirlpool could... and Rest on anything? He had Toxic no. Cover on Milo Tick. I didn't, actually. Yes, you did. I don't remember this. But let, play what? the rest of the battle. No, you know what? I don't think we need to. I don't think we need what? to. You know how this is gonna end. Okay, we have There's given the enough black for the, for now. Okay. All right. The joke is over. Okay. Uh, I was gonna say, uh, drinking game. Every time Hylian says scum, take a shot. Please so stop bullying me. We're going to town with some aerial aces, some thunder punches. Buzzwool dies. Snack comes back in. Get a crit on the ice beam, but it doesn't matter. Ryan tries to, uh, tries to Toxic for some reason, even though it was Rest, so there's no way he was going to turn to Wake Up. Um, the as question is, why wasn't that Milotic Flame Worm? Yeah. We now have, uh, you know, a Toxic Whirlpool Strat, coupled with some Seismic Tosses, still Ice Beaming, getting another crit, but again, it doesn't matter, because this thing's very clearly Thick Fat. Oh, yes. You can yeah, what do you mean you didn't have Recover Toxic? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm I'm mad. That's very clearly Lunar Dance. I wish it was. It would have made the battle faster. Can I go ahead and put it out there? The difference between running Recover and Rest is... He still ended up taking more toxic damage as turns went on. Rest got rid of your toxic. Yeah. Yeah. Also, it's not a full heal. So it's as you can see, like, uh, Naruto now becomes a very thick boy with multiple seats. <laughs> uh, just taking that, taking that thick fat from the cow. Um, unfortunately, that's not going to save it from being waterboarded by a whirlpool. <laughs> and that's how the battle ends. I mean, by that point, I can't do anything. I didn't want to win with the cow. The cow was just supposed to be fat and there. Uh, the, the most toxic fight as I've heard. Oh, Luna, you don't even know the half of it. <laughs> yeah, they keep bullying me over it. Are you, no, you don't get to speak. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you let's, don't deserve uh, to speak. Let's queue up the next one. Let's see. What was, what was probably my second least favorite out of these? Was it your own? Mm, I would say mine's probably middle of the road. There's oh, also there's also no, no, there's a no, lot no. of these that were just middle of the road. Uh, Man, that was just bad. I think, I think mine was the next worst. Mm, to no, no. <laughs> we're saving okay. yours. Um. Spooks versus. No. Nah. I think I'm gonna give it to to Sandy versus Yurun just because it was a solid battle, 
but there wasn't really anything funny that happened. It, it was just like, yeah, I can agree with that. Like, it, it just existed. Like, it just happened. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. It was a solid battle. It was a solid battle. Right? Fantastic to watch. But there wasn't really anything, like, interesting or, like, really noteworthy that got taken away from it. It was just you both played really I mean, solidly. I mean, the first turn is all you need to say about it. Exactly. Uh, I need to queue up. You can I just edit on the first turn and just end right there? The first I, I, turn, I would, and that's it. That's I, the entire of the match. I would, <laughs> but uh, I'm contractually obligated for uh, for the Mass GDT remix. And Wade, I disagree that, that we had the best one. I disagree with you disagreeing that you had the best one. There's so much I could say right now. So. As you can see, we have Usage versus Flat Arbor Doge. Usage immediately dies, much like any other Usage. This is way too loud. Oh dear god. The real problem is, who uses Haunter? I do, and I will be. See, the Haunter had an existential crisis because of that, which is why it got one shot. Yeah, Sandy has not officially used Haunter yet. Also, did. poor Clay, no, the joke just has been ripped away from him. It really has. It really has. I mean, to be fair, if Sandy didn't take it, I was going to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I was also. You know, I should have let probably, you because I have two ghost types. I was probably going to name it like I do. <laughs> when, no, no. When I said it's joking, just ripped away from. I meant like the. Uh, who Everyone just going to Yeah. Alright. So as you can see, uh, the double will proceed to Cotton Guard and Baton Pass into Principal Skinner. And I hope you guys are ready for an unforgettable luncheon. But this this was some serious tech right here. Psych up. I will, I will tell you right now. Yeah, Psych up Sylveon, yeah. and then when you see when he uses the other move on this yeah. set. This was. I did not see that coming. I didn't either. And I, yeah, laser focus? Like, this I was some. I was dice from every other game. This was some Last galaxy. Season. This was some galaxy brain tech right here. I did yeah, not I mean, see this coming at all. If I had died to this thing, I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I wouldn't have even. Like, if I were Sandy and I died to this, I wouldn't even be mad. That was the. Like, that's just some serious tech right there. The real problem is, this was all Yarun had for it, too. Like, he and I went over this. This was basically the only thing we could come up with. So, as you can see, uh, Skinner proceeds to get a crit on the skull. No burn, surprising. Um, as you can see, we proceed to psych up again. I guess he expected another Calm Mind. Um, Sylveon proceeds to start wishing. Three skulls, still no burn. Laser Focus gets revealed. Air Slash, another Rich, another Skull, four Skulls and still no Burn. Get another Layer's Focus with Air Slash, we get a first Flinch. Get another Skull, five Skulls, no Burn, another Wish, Calm Mind, Laser Focus. Another, another Psych Up, another Skull, finally getting a Burn. Not that it matters, because it's a Sylveon, but still. This is where Rifle Force is real, and it's a crit, which is nasty. Well, it's laser focus. Right. Hello? As you can see, Air Slash Flinch Hello. happens. Uh, and this, unfortunately, is uh, close to selling the deal. Uh, throw out another wish, but it's too little too late. And now, in Sandy's defense, he needed to go for the flinch in order to kill this thing. There was no other way. I had to play to my win. That, that was actually Sandy's win con, was to flinch us. Yeah, unfortunately it was. It Air Slash was my only good move to hit Volcano, which Eren did yeah. draft, but I had to go for flinches in the, in the situations I went for Air Slash because of the only ways I was able yeah, to chip like, and deal with the rest of his team. Like, Sandy had to do that in order to actually win. There is no BM there. It's just he, he, he had to play to his win con. It was that simple. Agreed. Agreed. 
So, that, at this point, the Akinator comes out. I'm a little bit surprised that it's Tornadus incarnate as Akinator. I would have given that to Landorus because, you know, if you, if you look at Ak like Akinator, I don't honestly need green. But wh whatever. So, uh, you know, takes massive damage from that Ice Beam. Uh, just going for Air Slash, just trying to flinch and return, but it's, it's a little bit too late. Tarude Sandstorm enters the arena, proceeds to Mega Evolve into the hammer, gets scladded and burned, now on half health, and is hitting like a wet noodle because of it. Another Scald, and that's going to take it out. Excadrill enters the arena. Sword stances because Rossetti was really tired of people forgetting to save their game, but it gets burned, and that's gonna be enough to kill it. The plot armor enters the arena. Close combats. He's just trying desperately to get this <laughs> to get this Suicune dead, and nothing's working. <laughs> Kuma O manages to finally kill the Suicune, but it's just it's too little, too late. And this scale shot is going to be enough to seal the deal. Because, yeah, the scale shot only hits twice, but that gives it the speed it needs to just kill with Isaac Spear after it. Honestly, all in all, really, really fun battle. But, at the same time, there wasn't really anything funny that happened. It was more or less just sweet pain. Don't get me wrong, it was a solid battle. You both played very well. It would be funny if you reverse swept me with the Kamo if I missed the scale shot. That would have made it hilarious. <laughs> it probably wouldn't have happened given what I had in the back, but it would still would have been hilarious if that was something he was able to pull All right. Out. So then, uh, probably uh, from there, I would say it's probably mine after that, just because, again, it was one of those ones where it was like, not really a whole lot happened. Uh, question. Did you go on Mind Spooks battle already? No. No. Alright. No. So this is, uh, this is another one where it's like, I wouldn't really say anything necessarily funny happened. Uh. So, this oh, one. Oh, no, you Uh, I start off with Robocrop versus uh, the mythical Red Gyarados. Take a little bit of damage from that Earthquake. Uh, as you can see, I'm setting up some spikes, setting up some Leech Seeds. He reveals Dragon Tail. It's a little bit of you know, damage from Iron Barbs and Rocky Helmet, but he swaps me into Reginald Ice. Brings out Thick Snorlax. At this point, I reveal Rock Polish and Focus Blast. This takes some pretty big damage. Jack reveals Counter Snorlax, which is why I'm so glad this is Special Reg Ice. <laughs> I don't know why you would run physical in the first place. Um, I mean, if I really wanted to meet with it, maybe. But I was like, I'm just so glad that I didn't. So at this point, Sweet. I swap into swap into fan vervet, fan service. I Mega Evolve, proceed to go to Dragon Dance. Jack reveals Gunk Shot, but unfortunately misses. He switches back into Gyarados to lower my attack by a stage, but it's not gonna matter because at this point, Flare Blitz kills Gyarados. Then, you know, the, the Tims come in, but the Tims are getting burnt because they, they just get Oko to Oblivion. Not the Tims. No, my Tim bits. And then obviously the the thorn, the thorn mice, the Snorlax comes back in. I bring in Regice because I am Ice Body Regice. I specifically made myself Ice Body because he had a rain, he had a hail core. Uh, go for another Focus Blast. Oh, hang on. He didn't know that Mirror Code existed. He thought Counter did both. Okay, fair, fair. That's yeah, that's understandable. That's a metal burst you're thinking of that does yeah, both. It's yeah. just, just less. It's 1.5 <laughs> instead of two times. 
Yeah. You should have drafted Rhyperior if you wanted that. Yeah. Metal Burst also does not give a negative priority. Yeah, that yeah, as well. Yeah, it doesn't. It's, it's really based on speed, so you'd have to run like a negative speed nature. Uh, he then sends out Victini, which, please don't do it. You have so much to live for. Basically, he tries to he tries to will o wisp. Uh, he he burnt my brick. Um, sends in cool tree. Right, which uh, I proceed as a hydro jump. Uh, and at this point, you know the rains not rain hail. The hail's done. I swap back into Robocroc because I don't know what his play is with the Sceptile, and I can more than likely tank any sort of hint. He, that he throws out. He reveals Synthesis. And so at this point, I decided to set up another layer of spikes just to try to harm anything he pivots into here. He uh, brings out Victini. I've now got three layers of spikes on the field. I bring out Protect just to scout to see what he's going to try to do. And then he reveals Final Gambit. In the arms of an angel... Far so at, away <laughs> at this point, from here. Yeah, yeah. at this point, as much as I hate to say it, Robocrop did his job. He set up the hazards. He he checked to see what Jack had. Like I was okay with sacking Robocrop at this point. It did its job. Uh, and so unfortunately, there was nothing I could do to stop Victini from killing himself. <laughs> Just real quick, can we take a look at your team? Your team is currently loses to an ice beam and a fire punch. Yeah. And yet, here we are. <laughs> I'm just as surprised as you were. I'm so, I'm upset that this didn't get to show up, this Zygarde, because this Zygarde had some nasty tech on it. This was, was a choice band thousand arrows? Oh, no, no, no. It was, uh, it was actually really fucking funny. This was uh, max HP, max defense, Yachi Berry Zygarde. Jesus Christ. And the whole reason for that was... Uh, I literally built this thing to live in Icicle Crash from Arctazolt in Hail. And then it would be able to retaliate and kill with Thousand Arrows on the same turn. I literally built it solely to retaliate kill in Arctazolt. And so I'm so upset I didn't actually get to show it off. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm still so happy that the said me and Stooks discussed the big team got used anyways. Mm. Uh, second coming <laughs> comes in, I bring out Reginald Ice. Uh, the other reason why I actually brought Reg Ice here was because, one, he's a Raincore, and two, if, you know, the Zygarde died to Archazolt for some reason, right, I had this as a backup to just try to kill with Focus Blast. Um, as for why I didn't just immediately send in Zygarde here, I kind of wanted to try to go for the 5 sweep at this point, I'm not going to lie. Unfortunately, I die to a bolt beak. This is where I reveal the albino Namekian dog. Uh, Jack proceeds to protect. Unfortunately, my tech isn't going to really work here because I now naturally outspeed his Arctazul. Because the way I've built this tech, he has to be in hail for him to be able to outspeed this set. And so, at this point, I just decided to just start going for Thousand Arrows. Because I had no reason to try to go for anything else. One Thousand Arrows is what it's going to take to, you know, kill Arctazol because he's a frail boy. Then, obviously, Cool Tree comes in. I switch into Salomon, so I get the Intimidate off. He proceeds to Dragon Dance. He's now a plus one speed, but that's not going to be enough. He Dragon Claws me, I barely live, and then he's going to die to a Draco Meteor, because yes, I was a special mens. And that's the match. Now just think, if he had D-danced on you and you pulled a Kingdra, you would have lost. Alright, and now we have, uh, let's see, who, who have we not... Done yet. We haven't done Spooks versus Kevin. We haven't done Clay versus Blaze. We haven't done the best fight. So I think from here it's it's Spooks versus Kevin. Alrighty. So uh 
Fukigalarian Voltres. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. So I'm going to quick switch sides here because I love Spoos' nicknames more here. So we start off with Isa Spin versus a cursed Togetic, who's going to proceed to get rock blasted. One, four hits right off the bat. Stealth Rock, Nasty Plot gets revealed. Another Rock Blast. He's... Tom passes this into Galarian Slowbro, who proceeds to curse again. Quick Drop Push. Rocks, <laughs> Drain Punch, just massive damage. Fuck. It's hit by the Foul Play. Taking in terms of massive damage, and unfortunately, the slow bro goes goes out because rest in peace. Percent. Rain dance comes in. Rain dance thunder punch. Uh, at this point, I should start prefacing that this this replay was titled "What was the plan here exactly?" And well, uh, this will soon become apparent. <laughs> well, I, I had two options: either thunder punch. Or, or go for the uh, King's Rock Rapid Strike. Alright. So, Top of Finney's gonna die to a Drought Solar Beam from Zard Wide. It's not a big surprise. Kevin's yeah. gonna proceed to Defog, get rid of those hazards. He's gonna barely survive a Volt Switch from the Selective Ire. And then I said, Come here! <laughs> and this Zapdos uh, is just proceeding one to... Thing <laughs> one thing I'm really sad about is that I never got to pull out my, uh, my Mega Pinsir because its name is literally Gamir Boy. <laughs> I, I expected to, to I expected to pull that out first. <laughs> yeah, no, at, at this point, the Zapdos just cleans up everything. It's just, there's nothing Kevin can do about this. This was banded, by the way. <laughs> yeah. uh, at this point, Spook's just got a little cocky. He's like, you know what? You're gonna have this one. Yeah. It I, I felt like he deserved one. <laughs> he procs the throat spray because of Bug Buzz, which is stuff. And then it reveals Thunder, which just leaves me with more questions. And then Flare Blitz kills. That's the match. I, I did it. Mm -hmm. Well, an attempt was made. Attempt I got to show off exactly three of my fun mons that I brought. All right. That Electivire was supposed to be... Uh, was a uh, turbo or like a motor drive to counter mm -hmm. the Vicavolt, yeah. but fucking that didn't happen. It was Fire Blast too. That's why I was so confused as to why Kevin brought Thunder, because I was like, you, Kevin, you do realize he he drafted a motor drive mon. <laughs> well, I, I had to have that anyways. Yeah. I, I, I had a choice of either the Thunder or Discharge. I just wanted to kill it. I, I, I didn't want to risk. Right, but like, what happens if he decided to pivot into Electivire, expect predicting that? Then I would go for Bugbuzz. Right, so why not just use Bugbuzz to play safe? On a colossal? Because, because, because I don't play competitively, and I don't remember every single ability every Pokemon have. Wait. Okay, fair point. Why would he click bug, bug Buzz on a Colossal? The Colossal Okay, as if them. Thunder was going to do much more, Tyler. A lot more. It's uh -oh. not not very effective. That's neutral on Thunder the Colossal. Would have killed. Yeah. We went over this before. Thunder would have killed. Anyway, <laughs> let's witness the rise of the next God of Destruction, why don't we? Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, boy, old. Oh, God, why is the music on? Show down the lines. Music. Yeah. So. Quick play. <laughs> Quick, use thunder. <laughs> <laughs> the Pelipper proceeds to U-turn the Uxie into a Galarian Corsola. Eviolite is gone. Knockoff is now disabled. Is it a cursed body? Why would you run yeah, disable on a cursed body, Mon? No, it wasn't, because cursed body would have procced on knockoff. Yeah. N no, it's only a 30% chance on anything. 
It's okay, not guaranteed. Right here, please. Um. Look at that. It's it, it's the best one in the game. Would you lucky? Oh yeah, it's best one. Like I drafted yeah. it and immediately dropped that for. Oh, sorry. I guess it is the next turn. <laughs> Man, I I wish Reggie Lucky was a mega so that Snomp could turn into it, dude. <laughs> can, can we hold on? Can we re can we replace the Frost Moth chance with the Reggie Lucky chance? No, <laughs> no, no. I, that's not your we have Frost Moth now, Kevin. No, I have an idea. What we have the I, can we get an executive decision? Um, what? Wait. I'll consider it. We have the moth, and we have the electric run that's a drive through. There's a, a track Dude, moth. we can name the Regieleki the lamp. You know what I'm gonna do? No, you know what I'll do? Right now, there's a 5% chance for Frostmoth. I'll make it so Frostmoth has 4% chance, there's a 1% chance that it's a Regieleki. <laughs> Why? Because you can get the lamp. Why? Why are you guys so fixated on giving me this? Because it's funny. <laughs> because then we have to have a fish, otherwise we lose. I'm a fish. Yeah, and none I'm of us none of us drafted lightning rod seeking, so we all lose. <laughs> I'm not actually gonna do that, Clay, don't worry. Yet. Yes. <laughs> Shut up, Kevin. Alright. Anyway, so this next turn <laughs> pause, I mean, right there. I don't know if it was pure luck or him just pressing buttons, but that play, I rapid spinned because from that range, mm -hmm. Horse will die to any electric move I had. Thunder Cage, Volt Switch, it died to any of that without EV Light, even if it was max HP, max special defense, which it was. Right. Um,. I so you expected him to switch? I expected him to switch. And I maybe that's just from Them. me. That's on me for over predicting, uh -huh. but like, oh, this play just gets me so mad. No, I would have made the same prediction, honestly. Because if, if you had known, right, that there's no way this course lives any of your electric type attacks, right? I threatened it out. Like Then... It would, like, it would be a logical conclusion to be like, okay, well, if they know that this course doesn't live a single one of my actual damaging moves, it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for them to stay in unless they just want to sack it. So, I should try to, well, you I mean, know, predict a switch and maybe it, try to clear hazards on my side. Attacking, it wasn't, that's the thing. Attacking Corsola, Corsola, or sorry, no, Corsola, actually, did more negative to him. Yeah. No, it, it was a. I couldn't get like hold on. I couldn't go into hit on top or anything until this thing was dead. Yeah. The thing you have to keep in mind, Clay, though, is this is Blaze's like first or second I time I, like ever said, playing competitively. I know. So like they're I said, right. I, I I get those stupid. <laughs> like I, I've said several times, that's all me for over predicting. <laughs> I wouldn't even call this an over prediction though. Like it's your your thought process made complete sense here. Like. That I probably would have come to the same. I would probably would have done the same thing. Like that was a perfectly was reasonable. Like, I brought in, I, I like, I brought in a choice specs. Reggie Lucky, not Reg, yeah, Reggie Lucky on a course a lot of half HP. If it had its EV light, I could understand. Right. Okay. I, but I, also, I he also didn't know it was specs. Back. Anyway, just continue. Right. right. But I no, this this right. it was completely like it was a perfectly reasonable play on your part. It made complete sense. No, I just had—I forget who it was, but someone made the comment of why I wrapped spent on a ghost. Yeah. Uh, strength sap happens. Man time comes in. Uh, Corsola attempts to disable again. I'm so confused by the, the disable, disable play. Yeah. I don't know what that thing, what we was trying to accomplish with it. Uh, sure enough, as I stated, it's just standing there, menacingly. It, it's worth noting it had no attacks. Yep. Yeah. Blaze is correct. That is among the United States. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just the new game mode and freaking... Hang on, I need to change the music on this one. This is sad. This is spoilers for a recording session later. I don't need this one. Oh. Uh, recording hey, session that you'll never do.
I mean, Mycelia is very, very... Actually, I think we have one of the largest colonies of mushroom that's a single organism here in the U.S. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, at this point, Among Us proceeds to start using Toxic Giga Drain. Eventually, at, at some point during this, I'm I'm gonna start complaining and seeing and kind of conclusion like, did you exclusively bring stall? Because at this point, take into account, the only moves that have been clicked are Giga Drain, Toxic Will O Wisp, Disable, and Strength Set. So and I think you guys get mad at me for stall. I got mad at Blaze. What are you on about? First off. You don't get to speak for your mill tank shenanigans. <laughs> you don't get to speak for falling for my mill tank shenanigans. I wasn't expecting anything. Get, a, do anything about get a room, you two. We did. I came out as the victor. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> All right. So I didn't know victory was a sexuality, but mom, right, dad, please stop fighting. All right. <laughs> Why Mom, am I your dad? dad? I'm the victor. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I was born. And that's when instead of coming out of the closet, you just broke the roof in the closet and just jumped out. And then your roof oh, just is... then your room just kicks the door down. Did somebody say roof? <laughs> no. They took a room together with toys. And uh Dino one with Uno. Or as they say in well, Spain, one. I, I'm just I imagining- I'm disappointed by this joke. I'm just imagining Yarun being like the equivalent of like the Kool-Aid man, but instead of like breaking through a wall or something, he just comes out the ceiling. Like he just, he just constantly just falls through the roof and he's just got, and he just goes like, oh yeah. Look at that, you need a new roof. <laughs> Hey, would oh, you like to yeah. change your religion? I got a free book written by Jesus. He's just, no, he's just, he fall, he comes <laughs> down, and he's just like riding on a scar, and he just crashes through the roof. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need oh, someone to animate okay. this now. All right. So, anyway, we'll see at this point is, you know, near death, it's toxic. Corsola comes back out. Seen a psychic. It's not at this point. Not a whole lot's going on, right? But trust yeah. me, it gets better. Nice strength sap. Such a busted move. Actually, fuck strength sap. It, it's yeah, I dark. love strength sap specifically on Gudra. Like it's it, that thing heals way too much damage. Like you could do it on a person that has one HP, like he did there, and you just yeah. Oh, like maybe again. Like, like let's let's like, let's replay let's let's replay that turn real quick. Just just to prove a point here. Drain the sap, He's a psychic. All right. So this 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 course law is at fifty seven percent health. All right. Uxie's oh, yeah, at one percent health. On a Friday for the same day. Look, thirty nine percent health. Look at this. Strength sap. Almost back to full. How did you get that out of one HP? Almost back to full off of one strength sap. It's based off your attacking stat. Yeah, it's not this HP. I, I still think that, like, that, yeah. that, that is way too bro Like, the ratio is way too strong. Like, yeah, this. this needs to be nerfed. This move needs to be nerfed. You would, you would hope so, but it's not gonna happen. I was gonna say, that moves in around for a while now. It's it's not getting touched. I mean, it debuted last gen, didn't it? Yes. Yeah, but that's also, keep in mind, Gen 7 Game Freak. Right. Yeah, that's, all, that's also, like, four or five years ago. I mean, at the same time, um, Surf and all the elemental moves got nerfed five gens later. Well, on now this Uxie's at zero HP is just sort of floating here. Well, it already looks like a dead baby. Jesus! <laughs> he isn't wrong, though. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway. You can't just call something a dead baby live on stream. Let's not continue to call attention to that comment, please. 
that time I didn't over predict it because I know he was like if he did it there, then I'm just I was so tilted at that. Yeah, point, no, that care. that would have been that. This is this is where I start to like be like you're shitting me, right? Because uh, again, yeah, it's it's pretty understandable how I came to that conclusion. So, Thundercage doing some massive damage. Trade sap equals vampire who drinks protein shakes. Corsola is oh, yeah. finally. I've been, I've been working on my form, bro. But Look at these no calves. <laughs> Hitmon Lee comes in. Mantine comes in. Very safe switching, honestly. Rapid spin, yep. get you know, get the speed boost, gets rid of hazards on you know their side of the field. Makes sense. Solid play. No, I I get what your rune's saying. It's a vampire who doesn't drink blood. He drinks games. So, there's a funny story to that. The was I can already tell the Wasan period was for uh, Coco. Yes, but there was a funny interaction that I can't remember why I did that specifically. Not just for the fact it's what you're calling. There was something I was gonna do to it. I just can't remember what. But yeah, my my man time was basically just EV to perfectly live a mixed Coco. <laughs> That's why it took a lot from that knockoff and rapid spin because it didn't have that much defense. It just had just enough defense. Just enough to where it would be. Uh be able to yeah. live something from full. You would be able to live a wild charge. Yeah. But Makes also sense. Being bulky enough in special defense to be able to take any yeah. special watch. Well they, they also remember Mantine is actually like deceptively bulky, naturally. Yeah. It's, it's like well, phenomenally fair, thick. You know why that's the case? It's actually because they buffed it like they did Pelipper. Yeah. yeah. Like <laughs> the Pelipper and Mantine were I think the only instances of Pokemon actually getting base stat buffed. And they directly do a base stats. Not a lot of Gen well, 1 mons did. Well too, yes, well. Electrode got a speed boost. Everyone's gangster till the Mantine starts Although, Jilly reminds her that the only Pokemon to ever receive a base stat nerf at this point is Aegislash. Yeah. Only by 10, though. Only by 10. But still. Didn't they, they lower the solar motor? Nope. No. In Gen 7, they did. Nope. No. The no. only Pokemon to ever receive nerfs to... Its base stats is Age Slash. Because it went from base 150 in both defenses to base 140. Which was just enough to take it out of Ubers. Yep. And now it's you, you. <laughs> we live yeah. in the biggest what the fuck timeline. Yeah, Kevin, <laughs> Solrock got buffed in Gen 7. Why the hell yeah. would they nerf Solrock? Yeah, they, get, the... they gave it's it plus so 20 HP. Me. It, it was so it was rock. too fucking high up in PU. It's gotta go down. <laughs> it's Ubers. It's the Sun Pokemon. <laughs> Wrong Sun. Wait, we have two Suns. Not alone. We have two Suns. Sun. The, the other ones. The other Sun just it's like Wait, just been sitting in the room. Where's the moon? Room. Where's the goddamn <laughs> moon? He's currently <laughs> crashing a lake. What else do you think the moon is doing? <laughs> So Top of Coco comes in. Yep, I don't have my wall calm very so I'm yep. my life. <laughs> we roost. That was like the one thing giving me safety. Yep. We switch back into anti-flash. I'm in danger! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Coco U-turns into Swampert. Oh that now I'm gonna go with that. Clay proceeds to clear. At this point, I wanted those rocks gone with my anti-flash. Yeah. Dang it! And at this point, like it was clear, it was clear to me that like you were just you were prepared to sack this. Like you didn't have yeah. any reason to keep it anymore. So it was like you might as well just clear hazards. You're not fast and I, enough. That's what, to I what you desire turn. most, Barry Allen. <laughs> that's what just, I tried to do on turn five. Just I, this is fifteen turns later. Yeah, but the entire time Reggie Eliki was t posing to assert dominance. And this. This is where Ultra Instinct Slurpuff comes in. Ultra Instinct Slur. I like its red scarf. Yeah. It does why I need to blur. <laughs> at this point, at this point, pay attention to the chat, because remember last season, Spooks did the same the same shit. Um <laughs> thing I wanna, there's two things I wanna say about this whole inner like thing that happens. What? Watch, yeah, I guess it was this is the only one left. Yeah. Um that crit. While it did matter, his sludge bomb was a roll. Yeah. And you outsped at this point because of Unburden. 
it, so, it, all the like, it, 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 at that point, it's just a game of ifs, because you could, you could have, in theory, lived it, click Sludge Bomb, get the poison, I'm dead, or just kill me with the Sludge Bomb, or you just don't do neither. Right. But now the, uh, the, the prophecy is even more foretold, because the first thing was a crit that actually fucking mattered. Yep. But that, at this point, this is why I said it's going to happen again. Because if you remember, week one, season one, Spooks pulled off this exact same shit. Yeah, okay, well, to be fair, it wasn't like I was attending. Oh no, I know you weren't, there. but it was just so funny. I literally had Belladrum, Play Rough. I actually, those were the only two moves I clicked. I had Drain Punch. Um, okay, good. Yeah. But then my, I didn't have another coverage move. I just had Sticky Webs. Because the worst comes to the worst, yeah. like it just set up a sticky web on a switch or something. But so that never happened. You know, we get we get a crit, right? Which, hang on, I just realized I need to, I need to do something real quick. Vamping. <laughs> 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 yes. Poke it up, poke it up, poke it up. <laughs> Perfect. So, Joseph comes in, another crit. That one didn't matter. He's like a new fighter. <laughs> and it's over. Thanks for coming, Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> that one actually didn't matter. We did the calc and that one did, did 80 on max defense. He has awoken. God of destruction. <laughs> And then he promptly runs out of gas against Jiren at the last second. Okay, the crit was so funny. That obviously and then it's over. <laughs> um, so, so at this point, I know he's Scarf. Because there, like, I, my Slurpuff speed stat was specifically made so that with Unburden, I outsped any type of Coco, naturally. Yeah, I assume it was like max speed Jolly Unburden. No, I had a very, I had a very specific speed stat. I put the rest of them, it was, I'll see if I can find it real quick, but yeah, no, the only reason he outsped was because he was Scarf. And the moment I saw that, I was like, oh, I know he's Scarf, so I just went into Mammoth Swarm. Also, I want you to know that every time I see the Slurp Puff in a replay, I'm going to play the Ultra Instinct theme now. Please do. It is cemented like, itself. Like two like seasons. Come up with a song. Two You're seasons like in a row. Nuggets over there. Yes. Huh. Two seasons in a row. It has cemented itself. This is the god of destruction. <laughs> Wait, but that's Beerus. That's not Goku. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a giant cat. Slurpuff is what else it. Have you seen Sorboff? It's clearly a cat. It's a very weird cat. Very, very, very it's, weird. It's cat. just a very obese cat. You know what? Hitman Lee is a just no, as weird a cat. Yours isn't the obese cat. That's Champa. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's Champa. Well, I mean, they're all the god of destruction in their own universe. Yeah. So. Well, no, he said fat. He's just a very fat cat. No, that's yeah. Champa. The context of God Anyway. So yeah, I knew he was Scarf. I went out to my ground type, and I just kind of made the ground shake. Yep. I love beep, this skill. I killed even through the electric seat defense bonus. I didn't mm -hmm. even realize that until just now. <laughs> I didn't even realize that it was electric seat. You gotta put some miles on Jamvad's car, you know, running around the <laughs> running around the block a few times. Yeah, but then you went and total Jamvad's car like a jerk. <laughs> It's just like a thing at the end of a uh, chase scene. Like you, the police are chasing them, and they have to crash their car to do it. You got the you got the perk, but you have to make your car go to the. I've won, but stuff. at what cost? Right. Hundred dollars by auto repair. And now at this point, we've saved the best for last. <laughs> A the worst. Means... This is the, <laughs> the worst. I'm, I'm, I'm not re actually, I can't. I was yeah. already laughing at the point of the moves that happened. Hey, I'm uh, already laughing like so. What's a good song for this? 
bad news. Bad. I mean, how are you gonna get rid of Marnie's theme when the person has the Grim Snarl? Oh, you know what? You're right. Good point. <laughs> Why would it listen to the troll? Team? So, I, I know I was about to say I was I was gonna request like Afro Circus for Madagascar or something. I don't know why that just came into my head. Seth proceeds to swap into Meg Mordor. <laughs> Rocky helmet Meg Mortar. Yeah. Wait. Seth, was this thing flame body? It couldn't be. Oh, it couldn't be with Metronome? Aw, oh, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah, Metronome and Meg Mortar has to be the battle spirit. Literally everyone told me run flame body with it and I continuously had to tell them I can't. Yeah. I physically uh, cannot. Yep. Yeah. I just cut open Bachelor World where you, you click Iron Head there and you just burn. Yeah. I assume because uh, Metronome is a, an event move. Yep. It's, Gen it's a uh, Gen it's a three it's Gen a transfer move. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> You would have had to try to transfer a uh, Magmar from Gen 1. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And the thing, because of the whole, you know, hidden ability. Yeah, all mods yeah, transferred yeah, yeah. from Virtual Console have their hidden ability. So like, there's no way you can actually, uh... You know they did that specifically so you can't have Fissure Machamp. Oh, absolutely. And or Fissure no Nogar no. Machamp. Of other things that they did because of that. No, they did it so you can't have Close Combat Earthquake Pinsir. <laughs> I already had Earthquake. Yeah, but you can't have both in yeah. the same set. Uh, yeah. What? Wait, Wait, why? Close combat because... is a... Uh, I believe it's... One of them is a transfer-only move, and so you can't have both in the same set. That doesn't make any sense. Especially since... You also, you also can't have <laughs> Outrage Close Combat. <laughs> Yeah, Poke the Pokemon company just hates Spencer, is what I found out building this fucking thing. So at this point, you know, we're, we're training some blows. Uh, Red card Articuno just unfortunately seals its own fate. But at that point, the, the spoopy Dragapult comes in, starts starts yeeting the dragons at it. Hit by uh, Shadow. Throw Pokemon. the babies. I figured it out. I'm kind of sad this is a nickname child eater. I didn't nickname anything. Yeah, I didn't nickname any of his mods. <laughs> yeah. I made these mods while half asleep and in a rush, and then I never looked at the team again yeah. until battle. You turned back into uh, Chris Angel, which now has mirror armor. I mean, Chris Angel didn't even get a nickname. Yeah. We kind of cemented that in the, like, thing before. Mind freak! <laughs> Metronome Kristen. into Thunder Wave, which is you poor soul. <laughs> you poor soul. <laughs> that never doesn't get funny to me. <laughs> that never stops getting funny. As Sandy says, what are the offs? <laughs> I want you guys to know, I genuinely should have just never clicked Metronome this whole battle, and it would have gone a com and the battle would have gone a completely different way. Oh yeah, if you didn't click Metronome a single time, you would have won. Can we get some Kurt? Can we get some lower your expectations going right now? Yeah, Kurt, you're enthusiastic. <laughs> no. Like... Shadow Ball, Prox Curse Party. That, that Thunder Wave just killed me when, yeah. when I watched it. It's Unfortunately, that Chris Angel avoids the Poltergeist. Wade switches <laughs> into Urshifu, becomes immune to the Psychic. Seth tries to try his luck again. Magnetic Flux, but it fails. And then dies to Wicked Blow because, yay, guaranteed crits are fun. Not I that it mattered. It would have think... died either way. No, crit definitely mattered. I mean, Icy Wind has been a thing since, like, Gen 4. Right. Icy weed, Wind also has significantly lower... Icy things. Weed? I, 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 also, Icy I, Weed? Also, Icy Spooks, weed. You, mean, you mean Frost Breath. Icy Wind is the one yeah. that guaranteed lower speed. 420 freeze it. Frost Breath was a Gen 5 move, I think. There's also the matter Gen of Frost, Frost Breath has base 40 power. This has, like, base... Frost Breath is base 60. I see Wind is base 65. Right, but what? then Wicked I... Blow is, like, base what? Base 80? Yep. Yeah, that's 180. Wait. 
the... Yeah, but you can also have like 12 frost breaths. I thought frost breath's thing was that it always crit. Yes, it yeah. does. Yeah. But it also <laughs> has lower base power than Wicked Blow. Because Wicked Blow also always crits, but is base 80 power versus base 60. There's also Storm Throw, but only Throw gets Storm Throw. Oh, and Pincer. Pincer gets Storm Throw. Also, yeah, but doesn't, buddy. Uh, doesn't Storm Throw also have negative priority on it? No, that's no, Vital th Throw. You think Circle Throw. Circle Throw is the yeah. one that makes him go Man. out. Yeah, Circle Throw is the swapper. Vital Throw never misses. Both of them have negative priority. You know, you'd think that uh, that Heracross would get Vital Throw. You would. At you would really think so. Anyway. <laughs> Galissa Papa seems to go for Water Throw. Gets hit by a Brave Bird. Barely does not proc the emergency exit. Gets hit by another Waterfall here. Quick Claw Galissa comes in. Takes the kill. And that's the moment when Wade started panicking. Oh, what's that? <laughs> you expected Sev to bring a team without Quick Claw in it? Oh, my you. Teammate, you fool. Teammate, you fool. My team name is literally the Quick Claw Strays. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm sorry to, to any viewer who thought that for some reason Sev would not bring a Quick Claw mod. I, you're in the wrong timeline. I don't line. think any. I don't think anybody thought that. I'm going to be real. I mean, I know I'm in the draft league, but I literally came in here and said I'm here to just meme yeah. on everyone. Destiny Bond De Gengar comes in, gets hit by Drill Run, which unfortunately also seals Galisapot's face. Now, Look, if I'm no just exits. So, now, so, only Quick Claw had gone two for two there. The, yeah. Thing I wanted. Thing I wanted to mention. I almost, that turn Quick Claw proc I almost did Quick Drill Run knowing he was going to go for a Roost, but something told me Quick Claw was going to proc, so don't do it. Oh, Taylor, I'm, I'm going to call this out though. If Quick Claw had procced that last turn, you would have killed Gengar before Quick Destiny Bond, and you would have lived. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because at that point, Wade was panicking and making really risky boosts. He's like, I need this Galice Pod to go away. It needs to go away. Grubsnarl starts to, you know, drain punch the Urshifu. Wicked Blow's not doing a whole lot to stop it. Urshifu eats the Roselli player, but it's not gonna cut it. It's too low health. Just dies. And now we have the Vanellux versus a Dragon Bolt and a Grimmsnarl. Blizzard gets rid of the Grimmsnarl. And at this point, it comes down to a child heater versus an ice cream cone. Dragon Bolt Phantom Forces dodges the blizzard. Hits Vanellux, takes down to 29%, but then unfortunately gets hit by another blizzard, which seals the deal. This Goodbye. was such a close fight. It was just so funny, too. And it was... I was on my seat the entire time. Like, it was such... Such a good fight. <laughs> I just... <laughs> the whole league was basically there watching it live. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, this this, this is what everybody wanted to see. Like, <laughs> what you would pull. And, like, how people... How people re respond to it. Mm -hmm. Oh, which... I feel like I have set expectations high for next weeks, and I'm just like... Although it's fine, gonna... because, uh... Well, speaking of next week, why don't we figure this out live, huh? Oh, no. Please oh, no, give no, me no, someone no. I have a chance with. Wait, that's no one. I've, I'm, I've lost then. Uh... Let's figure this out well... live. Oh, no. I don't wanna. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. And wait, because oh, I literally clicked metronome like every other my mom's every because metronome was a bad one. And I just, the thunder wave is forever ingrained in my mind and I can't. Like, I can't genuinely, um, every metronome was bad. Hylian. What's up? Oh, we also after this drink. Can you help me try and find a song that I can we can use? No. No. Okay, worth a shot. 
I'm sorry, I've, I've already got something I gotta do with Clay after this. Yeah, that's understandable. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Actually, shouldn't, uh... Shouldn't the half-melted ice... Oh, wait, no, there it is. I was wondering... Yeah, it has a... What's it okay, I was wondering what gif it was, and then I was like, oh, there it is. Look, I still say I, that the Chris Angel gift is just great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know, I think I prefer India's Revenge, but that just might be my bias for Simpsons. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, yeah, you know what he could do? Oh, it's cool. Just for future reference. Um, you could just click randomize them because of the fact that it'll just go on once you have it. You're missing Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Kevin, yeah. always forgotten. All right. So, our first one. I knew I had to face you. I knew it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I saw who was at the top, and that was it. It's fine. It's fine, Lion Boy. You're fine. You get to use Stab this week. Up next. Oh, I just, I just... Yay! You get to beat Wade's ass! <laughs> I get to beat the two people who took my fucking Urshifus! Yeah! <laughs> I know how you feel. <laughs> I'm coming for you, motherfucker. He did, in fact, say Gamir. I did, in fact, say Gamir. <laughs> Folks. Folks. What's up? A little wedgie for me. I'm streaming. I know. What you Draft this recap. What for. I almost got one. Get involved. For I was my walking to the electric, uh, electronics department at Walmart as a kid walked past me with one in his hands, and he was the last one. <laughs> Oh, hey, Clay. Oh, did, did you punch the kid in the throat and take it? Oh, boy. Who do I fight? Actually, wait. What's wrong with me? I just said to punch a kid in the throat. Yeah. Seb, you work at Target. It's okay. <laughs> you work at Target. It's okay. <laughs> it does actually Oh, I fight Kevin. Kevin? Kevin? Yeah, but your target does in fact excuse whatever I just said. <laughs> oh, if no. anything, it Check makes it you next. a target. Oh, that's gonna be a meme. And just like no. season one, my week two match was against your own. <laughs> 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 All right, well, time uh, to do the thing. Eileen's in danger. <laughs> okay, <laughs> did, did, need I remind you that last season I won? Albeit barely, but I did win. Yeah, but has Yarun ever lost coming off a loss? I don't think he has a losing streak yet. Oh, don't worry, you're gonna say losing streak soon. Right. I'm also. Sorry, I only beat my. I only play better when Seriously, I get frustrated. I'm trying to say this specifically. Fucking hell, I get it. How you need to do it. Oh, you're oh, right. Oh, yeah. Thankfully, I, uh. I actually was smart when it comes to Snom. I actually yeah, saved a notepad document. <laughs> yeah. So, I have a better question. Why did you do that with. Affectionately titled Snom.txt. <laughs> Actually, yeah, better question. Why did you do that just for the roster? I am not a clever uh, man. <laughs> better, better question. Better, better question. So, Clay also drafted Reggie Lucky, right? Yeah, Which but is... it's no longer mine. Yeah, he dropped it. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, but what But what if he rolled Reggie Lucky while he also has Reggie Lucky? That's Can why you bring it two times? Joking about it. So, as you can see, yeah. we've got a shit ton of entries of Snom. We have three entries for Frozmoth. Now we got one entry for every Mega. Clay's Mega for this week is, drumroll please. Bang. 
That's the worst drum roll ever. I'm not randomizing to that. Bang, bang, bang. I was doing the American version. Okay. Mega Swampert. Uh oh. Nice. Huh. So I time to run rain. Yeah, so just... good time to be dropping Reggie Eliki. I, I just stole. I, I just copied the person I just murdered. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you murdered the person and then you stole their mega. Your yep. snom <laughs> absorbed its essence and fucking morphed into its form for a week. <laughs> see, see, Wade, here's the thing is. I don't actually know what I wanted to do this week, because of... Three of my mons are metronomers, and metronome has done me a bit dirty, so I don't want to click it anymore. And on that note, that's going to do it for week one recap. We will see you guys next week for the week two recap. See you guys Will then. We?